KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow. Dow Industrials finished up 256. We had the Nasdaq up 139. S&P's up 50. You get over and take a look at it, folks, what you have out here. Yes, you had a market that was higher. Huge contraction of volume. That is saying that you are not going to be able to sustain higher price. Uh, we are going into a volume characteristic of 146 million inside the S&P. Uh, bottom line is that we did out here 76 million. So the correlation is pretty intense. That's on the daily. We can do the weeklies right now. What you're going to see inside the weeklies the same capture the same number, meaning that last week we went up at 649 million. This week you did all 500 million. So you basically shot 169 million supply versus demand. Inside the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup. 33 million shares. Yesterday you did 43 million. Well, you're going into 62 million on the daily basis. On the weekly basis, what you have here, same type of setup. We got to a higher high last week, trading at 281 million versus 228 this week. Gold. Gold contract continues to want higher price. Bottom line, finished out the week at 1742. Uh, you got in the higher range once again. Anything above this uh, 1707 is the higher range. That's saying gold does want to make that move up to the 1850 mark. Uh, and I suspect uh, uh, if we go take a look at the uh, GDX, the XAU, the HUI, what you're going to see, all these equities moved higher this week. They got in another range. The, uh, right now, the GDX is trading at uh, $33.94. That took out the seven-year consolidation. So that is telling me, folks, that next week, the next week after that, you are going to have some monster moves inside the metals market. We already had some monster moves. I mean, many of these gold equities in the last six weeks are actually up 80 to 95%. Uh, that being said, what the, XA, uh, the GDX took out the seven-year consolidation this week, and that says the, the GDX can now make a run to the $54 mark, and we're only trading 33 So you're talking about some one, one monster number out here. Notes and bonds, again, okay, we're flat for the week. You had the 10-year um, today up three ticks, 139.04. The 30-year up 22 at 182.03. And uh, King Dollar. King Dollar failed the whole price. Uh, bottom line, try to get after that high out here today, and I just couldn't hold price. It got up to 100.867, closed out at 100.865. Uh, to get in the lower range, we'd have to get under 99,910. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe week and come back and visit us. Tell your friends about TFNN. Tell them to go on YouTube, hit TFNN. Have a great one, folks.